Mark Bell from Supertraining.tv with a max effort bench session. This is stand efforting using around 360 pounds. Stan came down from Washington to watch the, uh, the two uh, powerlifting meets that we had over the weekend. Stan's doing some rep work here. He's doing a bodybuilding style, bench press, elbows out. Um, trying to build up, you know, build up the chest, get more work in for the chest. Here I am going with some two board work, doing some triples before I get into my bench shirt. On a max effort day, we just kind of pick um, pick an exercise, and you pick a rep range to work in, and you try to stick with it. In this case, uh, I did the two boards for three reps, and it wasn't in my bench shirt. Uh, I stuck with all doubles. Um, just trying something a little different, switching stuff up a little bit. I normally do all singles in my bench shirt, but uh, I just wanted to try something different on this day. This is around 550. I can't do the math. I'm not that smart. Somebody else can figure it out. Uh, I got those uh, howmuchyoubench.net multi-purpose wrist wraps on my elbows and my wrists. Elbows been bugging me a little bit, so just uh, been wrapping it up tight during the bench. Going to compete December 11th at Super Training Gym. Um, so I'm just trying to keep healthy while I'm still training heavy. Here's Stan hitting up some more reps. And he just dies out. <laughs> still got some good work in there. Stan's training changes quite a bit. Um, if he's working on his bodybuilding, he's just all he's really focused on is. Uh, is getting a pump, just trying to get as much blood in there as he can, and um, just trying to handle as much pain in his kit as he possibly can. Here I am stuffing myself into my bench shirt, um, going with some board work, start with three board, and again, I'm doing a little bit of rep work. Normally, normally it's only singles for me, uh, just because in the bench shirt, you tend to flatten out a little bit, and the material shifts on you too when you're benching, uh, when you're doing reps. So I've never really been a big fan of it, but uh, just decided recently to play around with it again. A couple weeks back, I hurt my rib doing a bench press. I'm not really sure what happened. Not really sure if the shirt, I think the shirt caught me in a weird spot, um, right in the sternum slash lower titty area, and uh, kind of popped a rib out. So um, this kind of rears its ugly head on this rep right here again. Right about there, I started to feel it. Started to feel pretty terrible. It's 7.05 there. Not really a ton of weight for me, but it, as you can see, it kind of moves like shit because I'm in a lot of pain. But there's still a workout to be done, so you muster it up and you, you try to hold yourself together and, and still get a workout in, you know, no matter what happens. Um, that's also part of the reason why I like to go kind of heavy with my raw work before the shirt work. In case the shirt work doesn't go so well, you at least got some of that good raw work in. Gives you a good strong base, something to work with in the future weeks. An old uh, metal militia style uh, training is they used to do a max effort movement before uh, they would do their shirt work. Um, and then the last few weeks before the meet, they'd flip flop that and do their shirt work first and a max effort movement second. A lot of different ways you can do this stuff. There's uh, Tara Getty doing some speed bench work with some bands, working on her form. A lot of times uh, it'll be about half the group will do speed work on our max effort day and the other half will do max effort work. There's Stan going with some heavier band tension. Stan likes to utilize the bands with his bodybuilding stuff just to kind of keep um, constant tension on the muscle during his lift. This is around 760 here, going off a of three board. Pretty good strong lockouts there, but the day in as a whole uh, just felt off just because that little tweak of the rib or whatever it was. You know, if you're going to hurt a rib, make sure you do it in style. Make sure you have some barbecue sauce you can pour on it. 
throw it on the grill, grill it up. I think this is about 8.20 now. He's just trying to deal with that pain is all I'm really feeling. I'm not really feeling the weight so much. Just uh, shit just hurts. I think I got like one more attempt here. Like I said, you still have a workout to do. You know, you tweak something. Uh, make sure it's not going to hang over in other workouts and that you're not going to be hurt, you know, further in the future. Make sure you're not damaging yourself any further, but if you get a little banged up, no big deal. You should still be able to continue your workout. I'm sorry, that last weight was 760. This is uh, 820 right here. Pretty decent form. Kind of wish I pressed him up a little faster than I did. It still moved pretty good. And that's it from supertraining.tv.